<clears throat> Hello guys, Tony Ole here from Coding for Youth. Welcome to our Python lesson. Uh, in this series, we've been talking about all about Python. In the previous class, we talked about Python list data type, and uh, we want to talk about Tupo, uh, which is another Python data type for uh, data collection. Okay, um, we, we used to put to store multiple items in a single variable, just like uh, we discussed in our previous class about lists. So it's one of uh, Python built-in uh, data types uh, that are actually used to that is actually used to store you know, collections of data. Okay, we talked about the other examples uh, of such data types. Uh, are list set and dictionary okay uh, but there are, are little things you need to understand about tuple uh, tuple is actually ordered uh, and unchangeable okay so we'll see what uh, i meant by that so uh, let's say we have a list of uh, a list of let's say we have a, a, a tuple well let's say fruits like we did in our last uh, class. Now, Topo is actually uh, different from list in the sense that list you use a square bracket, but Topo you use the parentheses, you know, to to bind the the items together. So you can use a single quote or a double quote to say apple, and then comma separated items in the parenthesis apple uh, mango mm, sherry melon okay, so this is a top of <clears throat> now if we check the data if we print to check the type, you see that these fruits will give us a topo. So save our run. You see, this is a topo, right? And see it here now. Uh, we'll, we'll just talk about uh, some important things about topo. Okay, we so say topo items are actually ordered. <clears throat> they are unchangeable as well, uh, but though they, they allow duplicates. For instance, um, let me talk about the order. Okay, when we say that tuples are order, it means that the items have a defined order, and that order cannot change. You don't change it. Okay, as it is now, uh, this is a top of roots. If we have, uh, let me just, if we have. Uh, another fruits. Uh, let me okay. Let me say fruits two. When I come here and I say I'm going to use the same items. Let me just say the first one is mango, apple. And come here and say sherry melon. Okay, now if I try to print fruits, run this I have force right <clears throat> because um, the order of fruits two is different from that of fruits one okay um, we have here the first item at index zero in fruits one in, in fruits we say fruits one okay The order in fruits one, we have 
index one we have zero but in, in fruit two index index zero rather in the zero we have apple in fruit two in the zero we have we have uh, mango right so when we check if root one is equal to root two we see that the answer is false uh, the answer is for false because uh, the order the order of the two are uh, two are not the same we can actually assess the items of the top row for instance we can say we want to get the first item in the tuple we can say root one By using uh, index, right? So we see we have we have apple. Okay. Um, if you compare these directly together, the items to the items, you also have force. Okay. So the the items are ordered. Another thing is that the items are unchangeable. Okay. Meaning that we cannot change, we cannot add, we cannot remove items after the tuple has been created. Uh, well, uh, before I, I discuss that further, I'll talk about creating of tuple. To create a tuple, you just need to assign a variable uh, to the list in uh, lists or items separated uh, by commas. Commas, commas separated items in a parenthesis. You can only create a tuple by by using it, uh, a constructor. Okay, tuple constructor. For instance, you can say fruit tree. Um, let's say we have lists um, list of fruits uh, equal to um, um, let's say banana okay I don't know that's that's correct, but no problem. Um, which other uh, oranges? Okay. If you if we check this, this is actually a list. If we print, if we print this, this will give us. We check the type. We check. Uh, lists like this. Uh, check the type. This will actually give us a list, right? Let's run this. Um, so this is a list. Now we can use a top. We can use a tuple constructor uh, to convert this list into a tuple. Okay. We can we can equally just create an empty tuple by using a tuple constructor. So we can come here and say um, the tuple is equal to we can say tuple and say list roots. Okay. If we check the type of the tuple. This will give us a tuple, right? So we have a tuple here. Okay, so um, there's another. There's one way we can create a tuple. Now uh, we can actually a uh, tuple. Tuple actually allow duplicates that we can have. Uh, let's say we have. Let me work with. We can have I have another tuple, another mango here, right? Uh, the reason the reason why we can we can duplicate items in a in a tuple is because it's what with uh, index. So the mango at index this the mango at this index the item at this index has its own value. It doesn't matter whether it's the same value with the one at index zero. Okay. So if you check, if we check, if we print, 
the item at two uh zero one two three four index four you see how we have mango right we have mango if we check the one at index zero we see have mango so it allows uh topo topo allows uh, duplicates okay we can, actually, we can check the length of a tuple by just using by using the length function okay so we can come here to check the length the length of a front of a tuple we can use the length function like this and if you want you see we have five items in the tuple okay um um now i want to talk about a very special way of creating a, a topo you can create a topo with just one item by adding if you if you don't add if a topo with one item you must add a comma for instance uh let's say we have this if we check this again now uh, let's run this uh, let's see if you come here and check the type of this tuple of fruit two, we have a string, right? So this is a string, right? Now it's a string um, because uh, it has just one item. Now, if you want to you want to make sure that this is a tuple that you're trying to create, you must put a comma at the end of. Uh, a trailing comma okay on the last item so you can see now that this is actually a tuple okay so um what else um now uh, let's talk about the items that can be used or that the types that can be you know the items of a tuple what we have here now are strings right we can you can I want to say that uh, anything, any of the data types can be items of a tuple. We can have this sort of fruit here now. We can say my tuple is equal to. <clears throat> we can have different data types. We can have integer. We can have floating points 2.5.4. Let me see. 3.1. Or two, we can have boolean, us. We can have a string. We talked about string. We can have. Um, we can even have. We can have a list. We can have a list. A list of. Uh, let me say a list of numbers. Uh, two. Okay, as you know, so this is a tuple, but with different, excuse me, a tuple with different, I you know, data types. So if we check this, you still have a tuple. Okay, um, let me just print it direct. So you see, this is a tuple. Uh, we can get the index of the tuple. We can get the length of this tuple to know uh, how many items we have in this tuple. Okay, five. We can actually get the uh, the index of each of this. That's uh, number four. For tuple with five items. The last index is four, right? Because it starts from zero. So we see you have the list. Okay. So um, just to take note that any any data type can can actually be um, the item of, uh, of a tuple. It could be string, it could be boolean, it could be integer, it could be all all of that. Okay. Um, 
so uh, those are the few things I want to talk about. So for now, I've talked about assessing uh, the items of a tuple uh, using the index. Uh, if you use the negative index as well, you can get the item. You can actually do a kind of uh, range. You know, okay, to, to there's uh, the range indexing <coughs> that we did before with tuple, right? Okay, like the slicing of a tuple. We can have one uh, like this, We're starting from zero. If we, if we do like this, we have uh, zero, one, two. Uh, the three is not inclusive, like we discussed before in the uh, in the list. Okay. So um, we can actually use um, all the uh, Python operators that we have discussed before uh, to check. For instance, we can do the use the identity operator to check if an item is part of a tuple. For instance, we can say uh, if um, Apple. In my tuple, I say print. Yes, S names no, of course, because there's no <clears throat> there's no item called Apple in the tuple. We have no rights, excuse me. So if we come here and put the item apple, that be yes, right? So we can use identity manage, uh, identity operator on the tuple. <coughs> um, we said that uh, the items, the item uh, tuples are unchangeable, meaning that you cannot change, add or remove items once the tuple is created. However, we can actually do a little walk around. We can, we can convert the tuple to a, li a list and add the item and then convert it back to a tuple. For instance, um, let's say we want to use uh, functions like append you know, to add items to a tuple. Okay, we will have an error, right? We can, we can have something like uh, for instance, we say my we say my tuple my tuple dot append okay I maybe want to add a mango. See, this doesn't have any attribute append. Okay, we cannot do that. We cannot do that. We can't. You can't. We can't even do something like this. Uh, we can't update. We cannot update. We can't come here and say four mm. is equal to mango. Okay. <clears throat> we can't do any of that, um, so we cannot update, we can't change the items of a tuple because they are unchangeable, um, but we can actually convert this tuple to a list, we can do something like, um, um, we can convert into a list, add the item we want to add and convert it back to a tuple, right? Well, mind you, you are going to get a different. Okay, let's let's just do a little example. So we can come here and say, let's just say the tuple 
Now the list is equal to, we just need to use the list constructor, convert my tuple into a list. Okay, now if we print the list like this, uh, type rather, check the type, you see that this is actually a list, right? It is actually a list. <coughs> is a list. Now we can actually add uh, the list. We can add or we can update. Okay. We can say the list and then we want to add or change the first uh, the first item I want to say this is equal to mango. Okay. Now, if we print uh, the list, we have mango as actually replace the one that was there. We we'll still have this as a list. Then we can now convert this back to a tuple. We can just print uh, tuple of uh, the lists, right? Um, if we check this, this will give us a tuple. Okay, but with uh, updated and updated tuple. <laughs> We can even check, or we can just equate this um, using the tuple constructor. Um, we can say my tuple equal to this, right? And then if we print my tuple again. So it give us uh, this will give us uh, a tuple, right? That's that is a tuple. Why the first one is a list. So that's how you can actually you know update the item of a two of a tuple, converting first to a list and then back. Um, and then back uh, to a tuple right now we say uh, we have we have checked we cannot uh, change or, or or add items to a, a tuple but we can actually convert the tuple back to a list you know just like what we did here and then maybe we can use append to add item to the tuple for instance we have a list here now we can just you know, you can come here and say the list dot append. Okay, and then we can uh, add another item. Let's say orange. Uh, orange. Okay. If we run this now, we see that. Both the list and the tuple has been updated. See the orange is added at the end of the tuple. But when we try to use the append on tuple, we got uh, an error, right? So we can equally uh, we can equally use the same method to remove items from a tuple. <clears throat> For instance, instead of append, we can we can decide to remove an item. Let's we want to remove uh, the item. Um, Apple, we can come here and say remove uh, using the built in method remove. I will say Apple, right? And the Apple will be gone from the tuple. So we now have, you know, just this 
Um, so uh, we can use the delete keyword or uh, the keyword to delete uh, a tuple completely. You can come here and say. Um, we can just come here if we say D my tuple and we try to run again we have an error because the tuple does not exist any longer okay All right so this my tuple is not defined because that is no longer you know in existence because we have deleted the tuple now let's talk about briefly let's talk about packing and unpacking in tuple now the time when we assign, when we assign uh, the process of assigning all these items to this variable is called packing in, in tuple in uh, in Python packing of the tuple we can equally go the other way around by unpacking the tuple okay now um, unpacking in terms of unpacking, what we need to do is we have say so we can just come here and say we can say and say item one uh, item two item three these are variables now uh, item four item Five, right because we have five items in the top of one two three four five six six right one two three four five six so item item six now if we print this we don't uh it might is not defined fruits Okay, let me just change this back to my tuple. All right, so now uh, if we check, if we print, if we print uh, item one, if we print item one, what we get is one, right? So this process of uh, this first process here now is called packing when we assign different items to a single variable um, in, a, in a tuple like this is called packing now when we distribute uh, each of these uh, to each of the items of the tuple to a different variables is called unpacking so you see that we what we did here is just to is to have the 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 variables on the left hand side and then equate it to the to the tuple on the right hand side. So this process is called is called unpacking or unpack unpack um, we uh, unpack uh, the tuple. Now, if the number of items, if the number of variables is not equal to the number of items in the tuple, we have an error. Okay, so we, we have an error here. We we'll say the value error. Too many values to unpack. We expected five. Well, we have just four okay uh, but what we could do here we could uh, actually use asterisks to to say okay we want to add all the other items to this for instance we can come here and just put asterisks like this at the last item and then by the time we run this we have one again if we run item five we have two we have two items because in this case now we are saying we are saying assign the first the first item to this variable one the second one to the variable two the third one to variable three the fourth one to variable four but the remaining one assign all of them to variable five so uh, we can use asterisk to assign the rest of the of the items to the variable the last variable okay we can equally we can't we can equally put the asterisk on the first or any of the or any of the variables we can see assign the rest items if we run this now item 5 will only get the last but if we run and print item 2 this should be item 2 and print item 2 
we have two variables which is this and and force assigned to item two okay so that's um uh this class has actually taken a very long time but i'm just i just want to talk about everything uh on python tuple okay so we can actually look through the like the we can look through the items of a tuple we can look through a tuple just like we did in our lists and strings we can say for x in my tuple prints x right x right around this we have all the items printed um we can equally uh, look through the index you know by using the range and the length like we did in our previous uh, uh class we can see for i in range like this and then we want to find the length of the tuple okay we can we can now uh, come here and print my tuple and then i like this we we'll see have the same results okay so uh, we can equally use a while loop we can use a while loop uh, coupled with um, the length function to also look through uh, the items of the tuple. We can say why. We can say let's first of all let's say uh, let's initiate let's assign this to zero. I will say why i is less than the length of the tuple. My tuple. Okay, we want to print uh, my tuple I, and then we increment I is equal to is equal to I plus one. If we run this, we still have the same. We still have the same. Um, we still have the same results into our for loop. Okay, so what we did there, we <coughs> we declared the variable assign this variable i and assign the value of zero to it to initiate to initialize it, uh, and then we now see why i is actually uh, less than the length of the tuple, which is which the length which is more than zero we want to keep on printing uh, the, the items of the tuple until i is equal to until i is equal to the length of the tuple okay so we increment it here so that's that's that now another, another thing we can do is to join two tuples together uh, we can have uh, <laughs> We can have another tuple. Let's say my tuple to we can say just uh, say mango. Okay. Let me just have just one item in that tuple. We can come here and well, I just want to print my tuple. Plus I support two. Okay. If we print this, we have mango at the end there. Yeah. So that's another means, another way of um, we can assign this to another tuple now. You can see my tuple like this is equal to 
multiple plus multiple two and we'll print multiple like this we have all the items in multiple repeating itself that's what's happening here now uh, uh, this kind of you know creating a replicate of of, uh, of the tuple we can actually uh, use um, we can actually use asterisk also uh, for instance we can come here and say um, we can create a new tuple let's say and we can do something like this and let's print this to put three like this is not defined to put three my two point three okay sorry <coughs> so we run this we still have the same thing we had before so lastly i just want to talk about uh, a few methods that you can use on 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 tuple okay uh, the first one is the counts it, it returns uh, the number of items uh, times a specified value of causing the tuple okay for instance we can come here um, we can come here um, let's say we have a tuple my tuple of items like one two three since a tuple can have duplicate right four two 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 and then if we print this We'll say uh, my tuple dot counts. When we count how many times two appears in the tuple, so we have four because two appear one four times two, three, and four. Okay, we we so the count function or count method returns the number of times a particular item appears in the tuple okay another method lastly that we can use on the tuple is the index now uh, the index will actually return the position of the first if we do run something like this it will return the position of the very first item it met though we have multiple of the items it will only return the position of the first item so that's why we have one return there okay so uh thank you guys for watching uh it was actually a very lengthy class about tuple so um of course there are other things you can search online for you want to know more about uh, python tuple so don't forget to subscribe to the channel i'll see you guys in another uh video bye